We've told you the stories of several people in the Valley who battled COVID-19. Tonight, First News anchor Keely Lovern shares one that's a little different for a Youngstown family. What happens when your whole family gets the virus? But on a positive note, what happens when you all recover too? It truly is. It was, it was scary. scary. Yeah. 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 For the past few weeks, this Youngstown family of three has lived through something they never could have imagined. And it was kind of like an up and down. Yeah, very much a roller coaster. So you like never know, you like never knew when it was like going to be over. All three of them had COVID-19 at nearly the same time. Frank Scracco noticed it first. As it progressed, I probably have never been this sick. <laughs> and the duration of it, it was just, it was crazy. In just a few days, 13-year-old Milana started having symptoms. Two days later, she and Frank got tested. The day their results came back positive, Amanda started having symptoms of her own. When things started to let up and when I got it, I think I finally just like, you know, kind of realized how scared I actually was. So within a two-week period, all three members of the Scrocco family were living with COVID-19. You feel so isolated and alone. I mean, even though the three of us are together, nobody can come near us or check on us or help us. So the family did have loved ones and friends drop off food and treats at their door, which Amanda says made the isolation a little bit better. But all three agree this virus is no joke. It, it was kind of relentless because you would think you're starting to feel better or come out of it and then it would just hit you again. Make sure you're doing like all like the procedures, like wash your hands and you know, be careful like who you come in contact with. Luckily, none of the Scrocos needed to be hospitalized and they say they are all three finally starting to feel better. We're, we were definitely lucky and it is scary, but at the same time, um, you know, I think we, we made it through yeah. supporting each other. You know, it's not necessarily, you know, a death sentence. I mean, you know, this just shows that you, you know, there's hope, even if your whole family gets it, that, you know, you, you'll be okay and you can be okay. In Youngstown, Keely Lover and WKBN 27 First News.